Yeah. Hey, a warm welcome to my speed. So 50 minutes, 20 minutes, I don't know. Yeah. About RISE motivational profile. But what I would like to do with you is first give some more information about uh, Stephen Rees and the RISE motivation profile. That's the first thing. The second is a possible application that you see what we can do with. And the third one is show you a very, um, I think, critical example in the RISE profile. So the first thing that, that's important if you would work with the RISE profile is the third, that we, we see that, that there is a big changes in the last time and the people, working with people is crucial. So the last part of my uh, slide is to say, it's important that you don't change people, that you choose the right people. So, and I think we have to give the answer why you choose Brunello, why you choose Brunello in this project, why you choose Brunello in this team. So, we have to, to help people ask this question, why me? And the answer of this is a part of the engagement. That's the first one. Second, if you, we go to the profile, we see that there are some important things about this, what, we, what we're doing with, the, with our profile. It's, it's a key to understand before is ourself. If you don't understand yourself, you can ask the question why to other people. If you don't accept the question why to you, why ask the question to the other people? So it's important is the first one. And if I know, I know the motive of people, I know the possible behavior so I can prevent. I think we have an instrument to prevent things. Yeah. So if I can prevent things, I can also choose people. <coughs> Stephen Rees has made three uh, very big ideas. The first is the 16 uh, basic desire. The second idea from Stephen is that he say uh, w the difference between people is the intensity of the profiles, of the mo motives. And the third one is um, self-hugging. We go to the first one. That's the 16 basic desire. And we have this in common. That's OK. That's a universal thing so that you can work with these people because it's universal it's for all the people, the same. And when we go to the motive, we can see that uh, motives are, de are there from childhood. So we can also do the profile with childs because it's always go through our life uh, and it's continuous. So it's never satisfied. So if you, ask, <laughs> if you do some things in your motives and, and values, uh, after 10 minutes, it's hit pop up. So it's not the Maslow pyramid, but it's always active. So you can always activate your, um, your motives. They are never satisfied. And it's continual. So that's stay very stable. And that's important, I think, also for the work that we do with people, is that we have something that's stable. It's not changeable. So our intrinsic motivation, it's always there. So we can always look at the engagement of the people with the intrinsic motivation. Um, Yes, when, when we look at the, at the moti motives, we are very, very close to the very intrinsic part of the people. So we are not in the behavior, we are in the intention. And perhaps it's also important when we work with, uh, with the motives that we are very, very deep in the people, people intrinsic motivation. So normally what we do here is before we go in the action, because before we put people in the context, before we do people in the action, we have to look at the people. Because at the moment that they put Brunello in the action, the action is done. And now you have to correct some time. And that costs a lot of money, a lot of time. So give Brunello the change at the beginning to be himself in the project, to be himself in the development, to be himself in what he is doing. And if you do this, yeah, you prevent troubles. <coughs> um, you have done, if you have done the profile, I think it, it, there is important information about the intensity. And only 2% of our population as ve are very radical in their motives. So the high striving or the weak striving, so 2% of the po population has a very, very high striving. Significance is that these people don't have ever an alternative. So they 
work 24 hours, 365 days with this motif. All the action that they do go through this motif. So it's a part of their self and they don't have alternative. The other, other part here, the second part, it's 14% of the population, it's main motives, but they have some possible alternatives. And 60, <laughs> it's the Gaussian curve, 68% of the population are in the yellow part. That means that we can always work together because 68% we understand each other. But for this 2%, it's it impossible to, to accept the, the values of the other people. <laughs> if we go in the intrinsic motivation, you see independence per, uh, as a, an example, and you see there is a lot of green and red also in between. So if you look at the part in the middle, there is a lot of green and a lot of uh, red, right? So there are the two positions. So these people can work very well with the one position in the, in the independence. They can be also sometimes dependent, and they can be also sometimes independent. Um, and if you look at the two extremes, that's, uh, that gives us an information about the motivational distance yeah, between people. So all people have a sort of motivational distance. Yeah. The closer we are, the better we can work together. Yeah, so that's, that's the second uh, thing. And the third thing that uh, Stephen Rees has uh, take, take out is the self-hugging. And if you like your motives and it's a part of you, your body is working with this motive, normally you think that all the people share the same motive. All the people share the same emotion. So I think always that all the people share my emotion and I don't know why some people don't react. So that's, that's self-hugging. So that's, now you have the three main uh, findings of uh, Stephen Rees. Now I would like to go in, a, in the second part. The second part is to look a little, a little bit about possible uh, implication. We have an instrument that gives us the possibility to make a diagnosis, to prevent, so to, to work before you go in the action, because, before you uh, spend money in resources, and give you an information about uh, four, four areas. The first area is myself, and that's the diagnosis. I give the possibility that I make a diagnosis of my motives. The second part is, at the moment that I work with some else, I have a possibility with the RISE profile to make some prediction. If we two, we work together and I look at our motives, I can predict some things that we go, go directly, we do wow, and something that perhaps we have troubles. So that's the second part. So that's prevent something or a prediction. And the third part is important in, the, in management. If I took a team together, more people, I have now the possibility to make some prevention. So, if I took together these people and I say some difference in the motivation, I can now, before the people go to action, to action uh, look at possible prevention. And this part is here is always without context, that's only about people. And now I can put the people in the context and say, what, have, what, what kind of goal they have together? What kind of goal these two have together? And so I can make uh, the distinction and I can uh, choose the right person or choose the right team. Um, when we go in the project or the project management, we are now making a research. If there is uh, in, the, in the different project that we have, task complexity and social complexity, if there is some evidence that some people with some profile can affect positive or negative as the kind of project. Example, if uh, you know a little bit Brunello, and if you took Brunello here and you do it in a standard project, he will change this project because I would like to influence and I like this kind of project. I, I like projects that are new. I like projects that affect the organization, that affect the society. So, and if you put me here, that's the wrong thing to do. Or if you took this one here and you took it here, 
it can change the situation. So RISE profile gives you a possibility to prevent, to make a diagnosis about the possibility to choose the right people. Uh, examples that we do now with the University of Bern, we are looking at that project and we are looking if, if, if it's true what we say. And we find out some evidence about some motives of Stephen Rees. And you see, uh, that's the motive constellation from people that, that like this kind of project. This is the kind of motivation from people that like to be in standard project. Project that they don't have to change, that they have a routine. Yeah? And here you see the people that like to be in this kind of project, and here people that are like to be in this kind of project. So the Stephen Rees gives us an information to prevent and to position people in the right position in the right projects. And we are sure if you can be in the project that you like, if you can do that what you like to do, normally you do it good and you do it engagement. So that's the idea behind it. Uh, <coughs> What we do is the following. We have the, the profile of, of the people and the first thing that we do, we'll look at the kind of project. Now we have possible three project manager or manager or leaders. And now we can choose if this leader here is good for this one. And I have here the emotional distance of these three so that I can see how far they are in the emotional distance. So that's the first thing that we do, the leader. And the second that what we do is look at the leader, look at himself, and now look at the people that he has. That's the employees, or the, that's the part of the count. Yes, thank you. That's the part of his team. So, and now we look at this one with the team and always with the goal, it's an acceptance project. Uh, I think we can go here. Why? it's important to see and to have the information about the motives and values. It's important because it gives us the possibility to go in this direction. The wrong people at the wrong situation make sometimes mistakes. Mistake costs a lot of money, costs a lot of time, costs a lot of resources. Huh? And the RISE profile gives us the possibility to make the best combination of people for the goal and the task that you have. And I would like now to show you, as uh, the last thing, um, what kind of consequences, what kind of risk, decision for a leader or another can be in the organization. That's a real organization. There are two sales leaders in the automotive uh, branch. Uh, leader of, uh, sales leader of, uh, I think, 40 people. And this was the, the previous leader. A very agile leader, you see on the, at the profile, very flexible, very agile, uh, prepared to all the risk, no problem, always changing things. And the population that he has, it's normal. He took in population that are also flexible. You will see the people after. And uh, the, 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 the leader of him decided to change and say, you have to go to the Hungary, Hungary to another uh, 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 country. And he took this one here with two motives, family and order. He blocked completely the completely organization for three weeks. He was in Austria and what he has done, he prepared to come to Germany and his preparation war was Excel sheets, controlling sheets, huh? he, all the rules, he make a completely plane of rules First. And the second thing, in the first uh, uh, um, uh, w w working work, a week, he said to all these people, I am avail available for you from Monday 12 o'clock to Friday 12 o'clock. Finito basta. For an agile organization, they worked Sunday, Sunday. They was always on the week. The, 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 the manager was always prepared to give ask uh, and to give answers. It was catastrophic. The intention for him was a good intention. His intention was, I would like, yeah, because I think all the people need and like to be family and like to be orderly, and he changed completely the organization. And this was, these people here was completely blocked because in their organization, there was only one here with order high and family, there was only three, only three people had a sensation what is family and had a sensation what is liking to be orderly. 
I was in the, in the car with these people, with him, and I had a lot of mails and questions from the people, and for three weeks that was completely blocked. They spent a lot of, a lot of money after them to change. And he's changed. Now he has a sensation. So with the rise profile from him and with the rise profile from the, from the people, we can make coaching that help him to be effective. So, yeah. Uh, main message of the RISE profile is, please look that you put the right people in the right position, and please look at the why of the people. If you know the why, put it in possibility, in situation, in teams, that they can work with you as why. So thank you, thank you <laughs> for being here. Thank you. <laughs>